in our two-day series of UH football legends writing new chapters in their NFL life. As we catch up with former Warrior and current 49ers defensive tackle, Isa Akul Sopuanga, who in his seventh NFL season, continues to dominate the line of scrimmage while trying to follow the footsteps of a Polynesian pioneer. It's KJON's NFL 2.0, brought to you by the Barefoot League. Being in the National Football League, it's just so crazy, amazing. It's just and to think Isaac Sopoanga's NFL dream started in a disappointment. After an all-conference senior campaign at UH, Pongo Pongo native was an expected first-day draft selection. But after being passed through all three Saturday rounds, Sopoanga says a blessing in disguise came in round four. God saved me for the next day, which was Sunday. So I was blessed to get picked up on a holy day. And since arriving on that holy day, the ever-charismatic Sopoanga says he has evolved from a raw, pure strength to a total package. Cerebral, elusive, and educated, both on and off the field. Nice is like the OG. He's like somebody that everybody looks up to, that everybody loves. And, um, you know, we, we all look up to Ice. And that's on the field and in the locker room. That's He's like a dad, he's like a big brother. He's, like, he's all that for, for a lot of guys. And that's not by accident. Number 90 says he's just following the road paved by his mentors. Specifically, 15-year 49er veteran and Farrington graduate, Jesse Sopolu. 15, 20 years ago, you know, Jesse said that I stand enough for us, you know, my uh, Samoan, Tongan, Hawaii, Fiji, and Polynesian family in this team, you know. Jesse is a, a big, big role model. I, I think at this point of his career, he's coming into his own. But he's an even better person. Now near completion of his seventh NFL season, Sopoanga has recorded 160 tackles with seven sacks. But according to him, statistics don't paint his career picture. It's the respect in the eyes of teammates and opponents knowing he's fulfilling his responsibility that was handed to him on a holy day. For my younger brothers out there, uh, it doesn't matter if it's Hawaii, Tonga, Samoa, or any, any, anyone, I just want you know, want to leave a message out there, you know, to all my brothers, all my young ones, setting high standards in nowadays society will help you physically, mentally, and first of all, spiritually. And God bless you guys. And Sopoanga and his 49ers wrap up the season this Sunday against the Arizona Cardinals. Good stuff, Rob. Thank you. I love this stuff. You know, I, I know because we used to do this thing called NFL Hawaiians mm -hmm. back in the day, and th those are just a blast to do. So I know how fun it is oh, on the reporter side. Yeah. But I know the viewers at home. Are